Oh, God. I never thought I'd be saying this out loud. You can't tell nobody about this, okay? I'm really trusting you with this. So, you know how Rachel got that big promotion last year? Yeah, I'm sure I've told you about this, how she travels all the time and works these stupid long hours. Mm-hmm. Well, um, something has been going on lately and I just need to get this off my chest, I suppose. And you're the only friend I can talk to you about this, so... Oh, no, 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 we're not divorcing. Oh, God, no. I mean, not yet, anyways. Is she cheating on me? Well, that's a loaded question, isn't it? One that I wish I had the answer for. I mean, I've asked her, you know, and she gets all defensive. Yeah, I know, it's never a good sign. The thing is, it's not really about her, though. Well, I mean, sort of. Just hear me out, okay? I, I need you as my friend here. Just please listen. <clears throat> So, obviously I was suspecting her of cheating on me and initially I thought, fine, if she's not putting any effort into this relationship, well, neither will I. And of course, things only got worse. We both grew more distant, more bitter and more resentful. So, I tried again, you know, harder than ever before. I was dressing nicer, going to the barber, fixing things up around the house keeping the yard extra clean. I was cooking these fancy meals when she was going to be home with us for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I know. More than she deserved. No, she never even noticed. She never said thank you. Never said, oh, you look sharp. Hey, you look great, babe. No, nothing. But my sweetheart stepdaughter noticed. Every time I made an effort, she'd say, Damn, daddy, you're looking fine as hell. And smile this big, genuine smile at me. She always thanked me for the meals, and uh, she really appreciated how great the yard was looking. And then she... God, she started commenting more on me, you know? Maybe she could feel or sense that her daddy was sad and hurting and lonely. She would say things like, Wow, daddy, you're a stud, you know that? When I would dress up nicely. One time she did not even say anything. She was just staring at me. I think she was just awestruck instead of just being a good girl, you know? Trying to make your daddy feel better. Yeah, I knew she was missing your mom too, and she was missing our regular family. Like we all used to be so close. And over this last year, it just feels like your mom practically abandoned us. Oh yeah, of course. She still lives with us and she talks to us, but she's not here anymore. It's like two strangers sharing a house. It's, it's really fucking weird. I guess we're both hurting and I've gotten really close over it. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful for that, at least. The thing is... Well, um, something happened recently. Something that I really need you not to judge me for. Come on, promise me. I'm serious. Alright. So, Rachel was supposed to be getting home from this trip to Montreal. Yeah, it was a Friday night, so I dressed up, I... I made her favorite meal, and then I called my stepdaughter to join us over for dinner. I had trimmed my beard, and I wore this really nice dress shirt with my sleeves rolled up, and even a little splash of cologne. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to look the best I could for Rachel to win her over, I guess, or something. And you know what? Actually, we both got dressed up that night. How sweet is that, huh? Like my sweet little baby girl wanting to show her daddy that she was making an effort too. Well, I pour myself a glass of whiskey and we waited and waited. Nothing, no calls, no texts. So I pour myself a second glass and I got a bit tipsy. And then when she finally texted me to say that she wouldn't be home that night, I... 
I just fucking lost that. I got so fucking pissed I was seeing red, man. I just couldn't hold back anymore. I started ranting about her mom, about how she's a f How she's never there for me. How that give a fuck about anybody but herself. I literally spilled my guts to her. It was pretty ugly. I even told her that we don't even have anymore. How embarrassing is that, huh? A fucking dead bedroom. I mean, I've tried to smooth things over by apologizing. I, I told her that I had too much to drink, that I was speaking nonsense, but then something happened. I saw the way she was looking at me. She, uh... Oh, God. She walked right up to me. She grabbed my arm and looked me right in the eyes so intensely and she said, Daddy, don't apologize. Any woman would be lucky to have you. She might not love you properly, but I do. And then she kissed me on the lips. The night that changed everything.